plus negative 9. You all tell me, do I have the same sign or different signs? Same sign. Great. Am I going to add or subtract? Add. And I'm going to? 13. I'm going to keep, oh, keep the, the same, same sign. Powers. So sure, you said 13. That's great. We added them. And is it positive or negative? Negative. negative. Beautiful. That's exactly <clears throat> right. Next one, we got 4 plus negative 18. Ladies and gentlemen, same sign or different sign? Different. Add or subtract? Subtract. subtract. So we're going to get 14 here. And is it positive or negative? Negative. negative. Good. Why is it negative? Because 18, 18 is larger. So you're starting to see a couple things, right? This is, it does not work like multiplication. With multiplication, we're going to get to this later, I know. But with multiplication, two negatives makes a positive. Negative and positive make a negative, right? That doesn't always that doesn't happen. Here, two negatives make a negative. That's not the same as multiplication. That's completely different. Here, a positive and negative made a negative, but here it made a positive. So it doesn't, you cannot just look at the signs. You actually have to follow these rules. Are you see that? You can't just say, oh yeah, that's always gonna make a negative. It's not always gonna do something. You actually have to understand it. You keep the sign of the bigger number if you have different signs. You subtract. Keep the common sign if you have the same sign. Yeah, that's our, our rules there. Okay, moving on. We've got negative 1 plus 26. Of course, there we have our different signs. We've got the negative and the positive. That means we'll subtract and get what? 25. Good. Does it stay positive or change to negative? It stays positive. positive. Perfect. Yeah, bigger number was positive. Okay, last one. We have negative 14 plus negative 47. This is the same thing as this one or this one. It just doesn't have those parentheses. So both signs are negative. We're going to add or subtract. Add. Keep the common sign. How much do we get if we add? Six. Six. And this is? Yeah, okay. Very good. Try four and Let's see if we can do this uh, individually. And then I'll beef up some of our problems. After a while, you're going to get very good at this, and you're not going to have to even think about those rules. It's just going to happen for you. For right now, you might have to think a little bit and go through those every single time. That's okay for right now. Uh, you're just you're getting there. So let's work through these. We'll check them out in just a second. Right, so the first one, I'm going to model how I would think about these things again, just so you kind of, you kind of hear the process. This, I'm going to verbalize my thinking here for you. So the first one, again, the first thing we check for is does it have a plus, because that tells me I, you get to use addition rules, and it does. So, okay, check, we got a plus. Next thing I'm looking for is the signs of the numbers. I'm seeing different signs here. I see negative sign, positive sign. That means I've got different signs. That means, that tells me if I have different signs, that means I need to subtract them. So right now I'm doing 13 minus 7, just a typical subtraction problem. So I'm going to get my 6. And then I'm going to look for the bigger number in this case. The bigger number is 13, so that had a positive sign. My answer remains positive. How many people got positive 13? Very good. You know, what now? That's what I meant. I said 13, didn't I? Mm -hmm. 6. How many people got positive 6? Oh, good. Y'all raise your hands when I ask for 13. You realize that? We knew what you meant. Okay, good. Get the answer. How many people got positive 13? Oh, I did. Oh, no, that's not good. 
Okay. Next one again. We have the plus. That's great. I'm looking at the signs. I see my different sign. I'm sorry, my same signs. The same signs tells me I need to add those numbers together. I'm just going to hang on to that shared sign, that common sign. So here we get the 12 and the 30. That gives me the 42. But since both of them are negative, I'm going to keep that negative. They had the common sign. Next up, we're back to the different signs. It's just in the reverse order. I have the plus saying, this is addition rule. I've got my different signs, positive, negative. I'm going to subtract, get 7. It's still going to be positive because my 15 was positive. Did this one give you 0? No. No. Why not? Because you add that. Okay. So yeah, they, they have the same sign. Signs. You can add those. That actually does give you negative 4. That's right. 4 because you same sign we're adding. We keep the common sign. That's a negative. Does this one give you 0? Yeah. Yes. That one does. Different signs you'd subtract. 2 minus 2 is 0. What's the sign? It doesn't really matter because you get 0. 0 doesn't have a sign. Does this one give you 0? Yes. So the addition rule tells us one kind of nice thing. If you're adding a number plus its opposite, notice how these are opposite numbers, and a number and its opposite, you're going to get zero. No matter which way you do it, a number and its opposite, if you add them together, they have to make zero. That should make sense because you're taking something, same units away from zero, but on opposite sides and put it together. If you take those measurements and, add, and uh, find the difference between them or add the opposite in this case, you're going to get zero every single time. How many people were, uh, let's see, how many I get you? Six? Six out of six. Good for you. That's excellent. Now, the next question is, if we can do that, you can do that problem, right? Yeah. Is that problem okay? Just has one more. But if you think about it in terms of order of operations, how do you do order of operations? Well, you do parentheses, right? Now, even though I do have some parentheses up there, do you notice that inside the parentheses I only have single numbers? That says, okay, the parentheses really aren't saying anything. They're not saying do the inside because there's nothing to do. I don't have exponents. I don't have multiplication or division. I do have addition subtraction. How do we do addition? Why don't you just ignore this for a second? Ignore that one. Do those two, figure out what it is, and then bring the next one down. You can do it piece by piece. You don't have to do it all at once. In fact, if you try to do it all at once, oftentimes you, you mess it up because those signs are really hard to get right when you're doing all of them at once. So what we do in this case, and I'll show you how I'll write on the board. We're going to do this little piece, figure out what that is. So we're ignoring the plus negative 11 at the end. We're just looking at negative 2 plus 4. Negative 2 plus 4, those have different signs? Yeah. yeah. We're going to add or subtract? Subtract. And keep the sign of the bigger number. So this is how much? Positive 2. 2. two. Positive, you mean positive 2, positive. right? Yeah. And then at the very end, we're going to bring down this plus negative 11. So we haven't really even used that yet. We're just ignoring it for a second. We bring it down. It's basically just two problems in one. You do the first little part bring down the next one, you do that until you're done with the problem. Always we're using the addition rule if we have that plus sign, which is great because it's not that bad as long as you remember how to do it. So the next one, we got... Negative eight. Negative, negative nine. nine. Negative nine. Close, yeah. Negative is right, negative nine. We're going to subtract because we have different signs. So 11 minus 2 gives us 9. The bigger number, 11, was negative. We get negative 9. Okay, I'm going to give you three to do on your own. This is about as, as good as we can do with addition and subtraction because I've gave you, given you pretty much every case, right? We've, every type of case with positives and negatives. Uh, we have about three numbers up here. I'm going to give you three and four in these examples, see if you can do them. And we'll talk about evaluation and move on to subtraction. on that one, I'll write two more on the right side of the board.
by the way, you're going to have a problem like one of these two on your first test. Maybe a couple problems like these. So if you want to make a little note um, to study these before your first test, you're going to have something like that, okay? So be prepared for that. step by step. Make sure you're really applying that addition rule. That's important for us. Make sure we get this up right. Okay, we're about to get started on the first one. Wrap it up if you haven't really finished it yet. A few more seconds, maybe 20 more seconds. <clears throat> okay, so what we learned from our examples last time, uh, just like five minutes ago, we're going to do these from the left to the right. We're just going to add pieces together. That's it. Treat them like problems within problems. So the first one, we're doing the 6 plus negative 2. Why don't you tell me what you got? 3. Good. Okay. Definitely positive, right? Signs are different. We're subtracting. Four. Keeping this, keeping this uh, sign of the bigger number. Four. First part gives you 4. And then we're going to add negative 15. So plus sign again says addition rule. We have different signs. Subtract. Sign the bigger number, final answer. Negative. Negative. Very good. Show of hands, how many negative 11s do we have out there? Good for you. That's very good. Good job. Okay, next up. Again, we're just tacking on one more number. Does it make it any harder? No. Really. As long as you know those two rules and we have addition, you're fine. Just follow those rules down. So the first and maybe just a, a couple extra steps. That's it. First two, I'm looking at that. They have different signs. I'm going to subtract because they have different signs.